raise your prices because you know that the people who pay you will benefit when they invest more in you and the work they're doing with you. In my experience, generally people are undercharging and under earning and overworking and over sacrificing. So there is in, typically anyone who's here to, to help falls into this challenge. Um, and this is true, by the way, this is true of people even at seven figures and higher. Like finding the price point that is sustainable for you is a true living demand on you as a professional. And, and I, you know, mostly I work with entrepreneurs, but this is true of anyone in any field because the same principle is relevant when you have a salary and you need to ask for a raise. And, you know, if we're connecting to the part of how raising our prices or asking for what we're worth also calls forth a better version of ourselves. I'm not, I'm not suggesting that everyone just arbitrarily raise their prices for no reason. Like raise your prices because you know you're worth more. Raise your prices because you know that the people who pay you will benefit when they invest more in you and the work they're doing with you. Raise your prices because, because it calls you to a higher standard. Like this is deep work that we're talking about. This is not just like, because it's fun. Although it is, it is also really fun. And in order to do this, I think the first piece is really to, to look at the truth of what you're tolerating. And as you're looking at the truth of what you're tolerating, tune into the more that is actually wanted. So it's a kind of initial calibration. You're recognizing the gap analysis. Like, where, where are you now? What really wants to come through? What would meet your financial goals? What would thrill you? What would feel so good to receive? And as you're looking at that, I do think it's important to look at your time management and all the other things that affect, right? Like if you think about my initial program at $3,000, if that was for 15 minute session, that's a very different program. So it, it matters not just the price of your program, but the structure or the price of your work, but the structure of it to make sure that you're really compensating yourself for the highest value you can offer. Because let me tell you, when you are getting paid at the top of what you see yourself as worthy of, you will show up there. And then your work quality will be different and the world needs that. The world needs that excellence. So step one is that honest self-talk, looking at the truth of what you're tolerating, looking at the truth of where you wanna go. Second is making the decision to raise your prices and saying those prices to yourself, to the mirror, to potentially your partner or roommates or whoever it is that you live with, to your coach, to your mentor, people that are gonna reflect back a kind of like, fuck yeah, right? So you build a relationship with your price. That's step two, build a relationship, a positive, joyful, enthusiastic relationship with your price. Step three is to offer that. You gotta say it out loud. It's not real until you have actually spoken to someone and said, this is, this is how much this is. If you're an entrepreneur and you're selling programs, like 10 times, I would, I would make the commitment that you're gonna in one week or one day, you're gonna make that offer to 10 people. Get it in your bones. So that when you say your price, it truly is like passing the salt. And for those first 10, you're, hopefully you're, some people will say yes, but it's almost like it doesn't matter. For the purpose of actually raising your prices, you're just getting it out there. It's a big deal to be seen. Even if they say no, it's almost a bigger deal if you get a no and then you offer it again. Because you're training your nervous system that this is an unconditional. When you decide your prices, this is what they are. And no one can fuck with it. No one can change your mind. You're not going to get hooked or baited into something else. 
And the little hack, if you need an extra scaffold, because I actually want to advocate for like, just go for step three. But if you're like me and you're fucking terrified and you need a little scaffold, then in those first 10 conversations, make sure that you're having them with people who you know you would love to do this work with and that you're willing to offer a grandfather or VIP or special rate to. I wouldn't say discount, but it's a lower cost. And you say your price, you're like, this is the new price, but for you, it will be this. And give them a fast action deadline. Like, don't drag this out. You know, my price is, if you don't buy today, that's fine. But next time we talk, they will have changed, right? There's, this is a one-time offer. So you're practicing just getting it in your bones. Everything you want already.